Happy New Music Friday! So, San Hollow's new single, Worthy, dropped today. And in this video, you'll discover the theory behind his guitar riff, and you'll learn how you can use it in your own music, even if you don't play guitar. But first, two. This is Ray Harmony, and it's time to open your door to hack music theory. All right, so what you're seeing on your screen is the guitar riff that we made using the music theory from San Hollow's song. And as you can see, some of the notes are highlighted, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so we're going to talk theory first, then we'll reveal the hack. The theory. String instruments, like the guitar, have the amazing ability to play the same pitch on different strings each of which has a slightly different sound. The most common use of this technique is to play a specific pitch as an open string first, and then as a fretted note afterwards, or vice versa. Using this technique in your riffs will give them sonic depth, as the same pitch will have two slightly different sounds. And by the way, if you're not a guitarist, a fretted note is when you press down on a string somewhere on the fretboard to play a note, like this, and an open string is when you play a string without pressing it down anywhere, like this. So both of these notes are B, but this one is fretted, and this one is open. And you can really hear how that open B is way more resonant than the fretted B. In the worthy drop, San Hollow uses a combination of fretted notes and the two highest pitched open strings, E and B. By playing the notes E and B as both open strings and fretted notes, he gives his riff a big wide open resonance that simply cannot be achieved by using only fretted notes. The hack. Writing a guitar riff like this is super easy and you can literally do it in three simple steps. Step one, choose a scale. San Hollow chose E major for his riff, so we use that for ours as well. And by the way, if you need help understanding scales, or even if you just want to brush up on them, no problem, we got you covered. Just read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks Learn Scales and Chords, which you can download at hackmusictheory.com. Right, step two. Create an interesting pattern between your open E string and your open B string. Yeah, this is going to form the backbone of your guitar riff. And here's what we did. And then we repeated that. It doesn't sound like much yet, but that'll all change with step three. Connect your open string notes with fretted notes. Like this. Magic. And you're done. And just a few other things to consider when writing a guitar riff like this. Firstly, remember that open strings keep on ringing. So extend the MIDI of each open string note right until it reaches the next open string note on that same pitch. So we're going from this to this. Secondly, throw in a few rhythmic variations to keep your listeners' attention. Like we did by sprinkling the 16th note motif throughout the riff. And lastly, remember that using open strings in your guitar riffs will almost certainly result in perfect fourth and perfect fifth intervals in your melody. These intervals are rather bland, so be sure to break them up to keep your riff nice and colorful. For example, you can see over here from E down to B, that's the melodic movement of a perfect fourth. So we broke it up by sticking a D sharp in between. And now we've got two interesting intervals instead of one boring one. For more on this, as well as our other melody writing hacks, read the melody checklist in our songwriting and producing PDF. And just before the final playthrough, remember we intentionally wrote our example to be very similar to the original song, but we did that for the sake of this lesson. So instead of copying San Hollow, please explore how you can use this hack creatively with your own musical personality so it sounds like you. Also, if you want to learn how to write great songs and finish them, then check out our Cutting Edge Online Apprenticeship course, where you'll join over 400 of our apprentices from over 40 countries who are all learning our secret art of song whispering. All right, that's it. We really hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. Thanks for joining the Hack Music Theory Revolution, and we'll see you next New Music Friday.